This is 5 Minutes of Political Common Sense for America. I'm Brian Boheim, the political engineer. And in this segment, I want to talk about how ICE is making great headway deporting illegals. With all of the attention being placed on the Arizona law to help drive the arrest of illegal immigrants, John Morton, the director of ICE, has been getting a lot of press lately. During one interview, I heard him eloquently defend his organization's efforts. He claimed that this administration, that's right, the Obama administration, has deported more illegal immigrants in the past year than any other past administration. He also defended the prioritization of deportation by making the claim that they are only budgeted to deport roughly 400,000 people a year. Now, let's take a look at that data because it makes for an interesting perspective. In 2009, ICE removed, notice I use the term removed, 387,790 illegal immigrants. Now, 123,249 of them left voluntarily. That was only 18,569 more than the previous year. Now, I, I got to give them credit, though. They definitely did get rid of more people. The data, though, shows that they're running about 20% behind that number this year. Now, I also want to go, there's, I want to give you a quick history lesson. In 1954, President Eisenhower set in motion Operation Wetback, which, using the same measurements that the current director of ICE is using, using those same measurements, they removed over 500,000 illegal immigrants, and in some estimates, suggest that it was closer to a million. There were also operations by Herbert Hoover and Harry Truman, which also led to the departure of hundreds of thousands of illegal immigrants. Now, the numbers are hard to verify, but the point I want you to keep in mind is that there were so many fewer illegals in the country to begin with, at, you know, literally a tenth of the number of illegals. So the removal of that many people was proportionally enormous by comparison. For the data point that strikes me the funniest, though, is ICE is budgeted to remove 400,000 illegals. Can you guess how many babies were born in the United States to illegal immigrant parents? In 2008, 340,000. So congratulations to ICE for their ability to claim success for removing a net 47,000 illegals. They're budgeted to remove just a fraction more illegal immigrants than literally are being born in this country every year. Are we, are we seriously that foolish? That would be like having a business only focus on revenue and not caring about profitability. The reality is, if we have that many illegal immigrant births in this country compared to the number that we are deporting. You literally have to look at that difference, the difference in that number, and then compare that to the budget that ICE has to see how successful they've been. And the results are just pitiful. You've been listening to 5 Minutes of Political Common Sense for America. I'm Brian Boheim, the political engineer. If you like what you've heard here, and pick up a copy of my book. You can find it at Amazon.com. Until next time, be safe out there.